Hello everyone, this is Wendy DeRosa, the founder of the School of Intuitive Studies, and this video is on the common issues of an imbalanced fourth chakra. So first, just to explain, the, the fourth chakra is also known as the heart chakra. It's located in the center of your chest, and it governs our ability to love, to have compassion, generosity, kindness, conscientiousness, or being conscientious, caring for other people. It also governs our ability to be connected, connected to ourselves, connected to humanity, and connected to spirit. And typically what creates an imbalance in the heart chakra, and, and really in any chakra, is the, the flow of prana, which is life force energy, through the front and back sides of the power center. So this is true for any chakra. We have a front and back side, and we ideally want to have life force flowing through each side. But specifically within the heart chakra, if the front chakra, the front of the heart, excuse me, is blocked, then we're going to end up feeling anger, resentment, jealousy, perhaps. We might end up feeling cynical or sarcastic. I mean, really angry, feeling stuck, feeling lost. If the, uh, the back side of the heart is blocked, we're going to feel a disconnection from spirit. We're going to feel um, not connected to our purpose, like our higher mission, why we're here. We're not going to feel connected to the life force that's delivering that sense or that information through us. Sometimes, however, the back side can be blocked to spirit. And the front side can be really open, really exposed. And if that's the case, we might fall into uh, overgiving, losing self to others, losing power, um, caretaking or caregiving beyond your own capacity to care for yourself. So this can happen if the back side is closed down and the front side is too open. Conversely, you could have the front side can be blocked and the back side can be really open, which can lend to the feeling of, of um, self-absorption or um, too much connection to self and to kind of um, inflating self or higher self without, and sometimes actually too much living in the spirit world and not necessarily connected to the world out to humanity through the front side of the heart. So these are some common ways or um, imbalance, like um, symptoms of what the the front the imbalances are in each of the each sides, the front side and the back side. So to balance the heart chakra, we want to. Um, and this is my you're getting my personal um, advice here is that we want to first start with the back of the heart. Typically, we are a forward focused society, so we live typically in the front of the body, and it's more. It takes more effort and, and thought, conscientiousness, to lean into the backside, to open up the backside. That's not usually in our conditioning, and I'm making a big, broad generalization here, but typically it's not. And so what we'll, you'll do is just lean back into a, a waterfall of light and start to feel the backside of your heart chakra. And then from there, if you can imagine that the back of your heart opens like a glowing light or like a flower towards that waterfall of light, and you can close your eyes to envision this. And then imagine drinking that light in through the back side of your heart and staying there for about 10 breaths until you really let the front of your body settle in. Now, if your heart is too open in the front, then naturally, when we open up the backside, the front starts to settle. It actually pulls your energy back into your body. So you actually don't have to do much in the front. It will just pull itself back in. If it feels blocked in that area, then leaning back into the back of your body and connecting to your higher self or to spirit or to the divine is like coming home to your own body. And truth be told, you could have grief. You could feel so much that I'm coming home into my body and into my spirit that tears come. And if that's the case, that's the 
opening. That tears promote or propel an opening in the front of the heart or sometimes in the back of the heart, but wherever we're blocked, the tears can open us up. So if that's the case, then just stay there. Allow yourself to be in that sense of I'm filling myself up with grace and some light. And that will help when we call ourselves into connection here, when we lean back into connection, the flow of grace moves into our, our area, into our energetic body. I'm only talking about the heart here, but any, any part of your body, and it will automatically balance. But we have to ground and come into ourselves or lean back into our back body to create that connection. So it's a very simple tool on how to balance your, your heart chakra in the front and in the back. It's just simply to lean back in and to let this light come in and let it heal the back side and let it balance the front side, heal and balance the front side. And then just focus here energetically that you, the light of your spirit, is there in the center of your heart, deeply listening, you know, deeply connecting in, feeling and visualizing the light of your own heart in the center of your chest. And that's the balance between the front and the back side. So I hope this video was helpful. Should you want to learn more about chakra balancing or should you want to learn more about your innate gift as a healer or an intuitive, no matter what you're doing in the world, and understanding your energetic body and what's happening on the intuitive level in your body is immensely helpful for your personal and spiritual growth. Should you want to learn more, you can visit my website. It's schoolofintuitivestudies.com. You can also learn about my intuitive healer training program. Thank you. Many blessings to you, and I hope this video serves you, fills you, and nourishes you. I look forward to connecting soon.